Hello, New York City, and hello to all of the incredible, tough, strong, hardworking American patriots right here in the Bronx. Crowds of people packed into this South Bronx Park to hear the former president speak. It's Trump's first major event in the state of New York in eight years. He hit on key issues like the economy, immigration and crime, even promising to spruce up the city's aging subway system. We're going to bring safety back to our streets. We're going to bring success back to our schools. We're going to bring prosperity back to every neighborhood and every borough of the greatest city in our land. For him to be in a place like the South Bronx, it's it's huge. I mean, you've never seen any other candidate do this. Biden's not doing this. What it means for Trump to be in the Bronx, man, it means it feels like a political shift. The event drew counter protests in the historically blue district. Local Democratic leaders voiced their opposition to Trump. Trump doesn't get to come to the Bronx and pretend that he represents anything that we stand for because we know that he doesn't. A Republican president hasn't won New York since 1984. Some see the rally as an attempt to follow in Ronald Reagan's footsteps. Reagan campaigned in the South Bronx in 1980 before flipping New York red, defeating Jimmy Carter. The Republican Party just won our first elective office in that borough uh, in about 30 years, so there is improvement. Trump briefly brought up his New York criminal trial. He'll be there next Tuesday when closing arguments are expected to start. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News.